lovely colouring friends, my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colours. Uh, Emerald and I are here today with a fun video um, that is part of the mythical mini series that I've been doing. But before I get to that, did you know that 24% of all viewing time on Disney Plus is people watching Bluey? Yes, 24%. So that's almost a quarter of everything that is watched, um, like viewing time, hours, whatever. Um, that's a lot. Bluey is a pretty fantastic show, and I'm not saying that just because it's Australian. No, it is a very, very cute show. So Emerald is going to say hello, and then she's going to sit over in her little spot. And um, yeah, so today is part of our mythical mini series so um this is where i choose a page out of camellia angel cover's 50 mythical miniatures which is this book here um and i color for you and then um do a voiceover with information about that particular mythical creature and because this month is may which is also known as mermaid can you guess what creature it's going to be? I'm sure you can. It's the mermaid. Yes, so I will be coloring the mermaid. Um, and I just realized, as usual, I forgot to get some scrap paper to go to find. So I will just grab that and put it in there. So I'm going to be using um, the Ohuhu marker set that has all the pastels. So my mum recently bought uh, one of these um, and I loved the colours so much that I actually bought one, um, which I never thought I would do because I have on my Copics, but at least this um, means my Copics last a little bit longer. But yes, I just love these colours. Look at them. So beautiful. So I'm going to use that to colour. I will also be using some um, Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze, which gives like an iridescent shimmer over the top. I'll do that probably for her tail. Um, but yes, I'm going to hand over to a voiceover Amanda, and she is going to tell you all about the history and um, legend of mermaids. <laughs> Folklore, a mermaid is an aquatic creature with the head and upper body of a female human and the tail of a fish. Mermaids appear in the folklore of many cultures worldwide, including Europe, Asia and Africa. Mermaids are sometimes associated with perilous events such as floods, storms, shipwrecks and drownings. In other folk traditions, or sometimes within the same folk tradition, they can be benevolent or beneficent bestowing boons or falling in love with humans. The male equivalent of the mermaid is the merman, also a familiar figure in folklore and heraldry. Although traditions about and reported sightings of mermen are less common than those of mermaids, they are in folklore generally assumed to coexist with their female counterparts. The male and female collectively are sometimes referred to as merfolk or mer people. The Western concept of mermaids as beautiful, seductive singers may have been influenced by the sirens of Greek mythology, which were originally half bird-like, but came to be pictured as half fish-like in the Christian era. Historical accounts of mermaids, such as those reported by Christopher Columbus during his exploration of the Caribbean, may have been sightings of manatees or similar aquatic mammals. While there is no evidence that mermaids exist outside of folklore, reports of mermaid sightings continue to the present day. Siren's part fish appearance became increasingly popular during the Middle Ages. The traits of the classical sirens, such as using their beautiful song as a lure, 
as told by Homer, have often been transferred to mermaids. These changes of the medieval siren from bird to fish were thought by some to be the influence of Teutonic myth, later expounded in literary legends of Lorelei and Undine, though a dissenting comment is that parallels are not limited to Teutonic culture. While the siren holding a fish was a commonplace theme, the siren in bestiaires were also sometimes depicted holding a comb or the mirror. The mirror and the comb became a persistent symbol of the siren mermaid. In the Christian moralizing context, the mermaid's mirror and comb were held as the symbol of vanity. Dutch explorer David Danel, during his expeditions to Greenland in 1652 to 54, claimed to have spotted a mermaid with flowing hair and very beautiful, though the crew failed to capture it. In 1493, sailing off the coast of Hispanolia, Christopher Columbus spotted three mermaids, which he said were not as beautiful as they are represented due to masculine features in their faces. He is widely believed to have seen manatees, not mermaids. During Henry Hudson's second voyage on the 15th of June 1608, members of his crew reported sighting a mermaid in the Arctic Ocean, either in the Norwegian or the Barents Seas. Scantily clad women placed in water tanks and impersonating mermaids performed in the 1939 New York World's Fair. It was part of the Dreams of Venus installation by surrealist artist Salvador Dali. The mermaid interacted with Oscar the Obscene Octopus and the ongoings were portrayed in E.L. Doctorow's novel World's Fair. Professional female divers have performed as mermaids in Florida's Wikiwatchee Springs since 1947. The state park calls itself the only city of live mermaids and was extremely popular in the 1960s, drawing almost 1 million tourists per year. Most of the current performers work part-time while attending college and all are certified scuba divers. They wear fabric tails and perform aquatic ballet while holding their breath for an audience in an underwater stage with glass walls. Children often ask if the mermaids are real. The park's PR director says, just like with Santa Claus or any other mythical character, we always say yes, we're not going to tell them they're not real. The armor a Japanese skin divers, predominantly women, who traditionally dive for shellfish and seaweed, wearing only a loincloth and who have been in action for at least 2,000 years. Starting in the 20th century, they have increasingly been regarded as a tourist attraction. They operate off reefs near the shore and some perform for sightseers instead of diving to collect a harvest. They have been romanticized as mermaids. heraldry, the charge of a mermaid is commonly represented with a comb and a mirror, emblazoned as a mermaid in her vanity. In addition to vanity, mermaids are also a symbol of eloquence. Mermaids appear with greater frequency as heraldic devices than mermen do. A mermaid appears on the arms of the University of Birmingham in addition to those of several British families. A mermaid with two tails is referred to as a melusine. Melusines appear in German heraldry and less frequently in the British version. A melusine appears in the famous Starbucks logo. The best known example of mermaids in literature is probably Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Little Mermaid, first published in 1837. Disney released its animated telling of this story in 1989, which remains hugely popular today. 
Other film depictions include Miranda, Night Tide, the romantic comedy Splash and Aquamarine. A 1963 episode of the television series Route 66, entitled The Cruelest Sea of All, featured a mermaid performance artist working at Wikiwatchi Aquatic Park. Mermaids also appear in the popular supernatural drama series Charmed. In She Creature, two carnival workers abduct a mermaid in Ireland circa 1900 and attempt to transport her to America. The film Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides mixes old and new myths about mermaids, singing to sailors to lure them to their death, growing legs when taken onto dry land, and bestowing kisses with magical healing properties. Heio Miyazaki's Ponyo is an animated film about Ninyo who wants to become a human girl with the help of her human friend Susuki. The Australian teen dramedy H2O Just Add Water chronicles the adventures of three modern day mermaids along the Gold Coast of Australia. Oh no, Cleo! Well, that is the completed mermaid. Hopefully you can see the iridescence there on the tail. Um, and I also used my um, Sakura Jelly Roll um, clear stardust um, pen, sorry, my brain's not working there, um, to do some outlining on her shells and in her hair, um, the starfish or the anemones in her hair. Um, yeah, I hope you um, really enjoyed learning about the mermaid and the origin of the myth and the creature. Um, and yeah, I will be back hopefully with another one next month. I have had a few months where I um, haven't done them due to health reasons and that sort of thing, but hopefully I'll be back with another one uh, next month. And I already have one in mind, so that will be a whole lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.